So, hi everybody. Do I click? I click. Um, so my entire career has been made possible by the public domain. When I started uh, collecting films in the 1980s, I had no idea why I was doing it. I was a sleepwalker. But as films started to pile up around my platform bed and then filled my little office in Chinatown and then four rooms in the meatpacking district, I learned about copyright. And much more thrillingly, the absence of copyright. This was the first film I collected. Not this one. Traffic safety must be taught by word and action to our children as soon as they are able to walk. Many municipalities in conjunction with schools are doing excellent work along these lines. That's Oakland in 1948. I learned about boundlessly rich areas, a film that were no longer in copyright due to the strange and complex characteristics of the law. From friends, I learned that commercial media companies would pay for access to public domain films. So I went into the stock footage business that brought in money so I could collect more. We gave footage to artists and community makers for free, but I couldn't afford to give it away to everybody, even though I wanted to. These boys greet their dad as though they are genuinely glad to see him, as though they had really missed being away from him during the day and are anxious to talk to him. This is the time for pleasant discussion in a thoroughly relaxed mood. They don't pick this time of the day to spring unpleasant surprises on dad. If they have disagreeable news, they'll postpone the discussion until another time. And this is no time to dun father for a raise in your allowance, new clothes, or argue about other financial matters. And then I met Brewster Kale. 30 seconds into our first conversation, he asked me, why don't you put your archives online for free? I didn't get this at first, but I soon realized he was right, and we put 1,001 films online, public access to the public domain through the Internet Archive, and it cost us nothing. We kept on selling access to materials because some companies always need paperwork, and guess what? We made more money. Columbia University scientists play with their new atom smasher at Irvington on Hudson, New York. They have an unscientific high time with the new $2 million cyclotron, the most powerful magnet in the world. Unable to show the cyclotron at work on atoms, they use these metal rods to demonstrate the action of the magnet. The metal objects tend to line themselves up parallel with the direction of the field, in the same manner that a magnetic compass needle parallels the Earth's magnetic field and points to the North Pole. A seemingly supernatural stunt illustrates the great magnetic pull, which will separate potent protons from the atom. Even three men have a hard time pulling a chain from the heart of the great cyclotron. It's quite an experience for usually blasé newsreel cameramen and source of new occupational hazards. This cameraman will have to learn a little more about coping with the new atomic age. Let's strive for the highest use of our technology. We've now put 7,000 films online, many of them under the CC public domain dedication. More people in more places use our footage for more projects. I'll never know how many. But this is the highest destiny of an archives, to propagate its holdings throughout the world so that they become ubiquitous every day. And thanks to the public domain, I've therefore led a privileged life. The house on the left smolders for a few moments, looks almost as if it will not burn, and then bursts into flame. The house on the right continues to burn. Two houses are a total loss, but the well-kept and painted house in the middle still stands. Which of these is your house? <laughs> this one? The house on the right, dilapidated with paper, dead grass, litter everywhere. The house on the left, unpainted, run down, neglected. Is this your house? The house in the middle, cleaned up, 
painted up and fixed up, exposed to the same searing atomic heat wave, did not catch fire. Public access to the public domain, such an important idea. That's one of the things we're here to celebrate, but something we need to work a lot harder on making happen. As part of his everyday regime, Michael Shaw enters this home health center. He lies for perhaps 15 seconds on a kind of medical couch. His weight, temperature, pulse, respiration, blood pressure, and electrocardiogram are routinely recorded. At the same time, his body is scanned for any isolated temperature pockets that signal oncoming disease or a localized infection. At the end of the examination period, the computer calculates the amount of exercise necessary to balance Mike's food intake and maintain proper muscle tone. Exercise requirements, eight and one half minutes bicycle, six minutes programmed calisthenics. Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, this thing can make a mistake, you know. I think the unstalling of the public domain that we're celebrating today is a catalytic event that I hope will propagate the idea of public access to the public domain to even more people. But now I'm going to end with a celebratory clip that I hope you'll also take as a kind of warning. Developed because of this nation's imperishable heritage of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is this that has given us all of the industrial progress that we have achieved in the past and a certainty of progress in the future. A certainty as long as this great gift of liberty, individual liberty to grow greater and better, is valued and protected. You are descendants of pioneers. But you are also pioneers. Opportunities still rise from every smokestack, every test tube, every laboratory, every workshop in the land. You have come a long way from the drudgery of the blacksmith shop and the hand labor of that day. But your journey forward has just started because this is America. Where do we go from here? Straight ahead and don't spare the horses. Horses, your grandfather. There aren't any more horses. My grandfather. I wonder what our grandparents would say if they could see the world as it is now. Great work, kids. Carry on. Carry on what? The heritage they handed us. Freedom. Individual initiative. Opportunity. Let's go, America! Let's use the great distribution system that originates in places like here, the Internet Archive, to push public domain works out to everyone, especially people who don't know they need them until they've seen them. Thanks so much.